the cardiovascular imaging and leadership concentration at Clemson, we learn the technical aspects of sonography. So we learn to do echo ultrasound, we learn to do vascular ultrasound exams, and it's also paired with a public health science major. So we kind of get the public health and health administration background as well. So we had a patient, um, I was doing, I was done an echo rotation, and we had a patient that came in with a lot of serious issues and they had gone to about four different doctor's appointments in one week trying to figure out what was going on with him and we ended up finding the answer um, which was very unfortunate for him but it really was interesting to me the way the family reacted they were actually grateful and thankful because they had an answer now the big one of the big things for me to grow in kind of on I tend to rush things so I really had to learn to slow down, whether it be studying or taking a test, slow down, analyze what's going on. And the same thing when I'm with a study with a patient, it's okay to slow down, really look what's going on and not just worry about you know, how I can get this done super fast, but really analyzing and critically thinking about what's going on. Professionally, I feel like I've grown in my public speaking skills. We're always having to get in front of our peers or we even have the opportunity to get in front of the clinical staff at the hospital. So just getting in front of a large audience and being able to speak, you know, in front of them, that has really helped me with my public speaking skills. So one of the things I've really, I guess it's a learning experience, is I've learned through this program, it's not fun to make mistakes, but it's good. Um, you can get kind of caught up in your interactions with your patients, but um, there was one time I thought I was nailing this study. I was like, oh, I have got this in the bag. I was like, my preceptor doesn't even look over this. and. Um, when she looked over it, there was an error in one of my calculations. It wasn't a huge deal, but for her to be able to interact with me and handle it, she's like, it was good, but you did this wrong. And looking back on it, being able to get that constant feedback of what you're doing right and wrong, I will never forget to do that measurement correctly every single time. And so here, when you do bad, you learn from it and you have the ability to grow and do it better the next time because you're always getting that repetitive practice. This program, it will humble you. You're gonna have times where you're gonna struggle, you're gonna fail, you're gonna have you know, issues when it's gonna be either on the academic side or on the clinical side. You know, it's okay to not be perfect and it's okay to have that failure. Just learn from it, grow from it. You know, what can you do to, you know, for that to not to happen again? I would say I've grown professionally and learning how to uh, work with a lot of different people and different personalities, um, co-workers, preceptors, um, and patients as well. The most crucial relationship I formed has to be with the faculty members. You're not going to find a better support system while you're here in the program. They're our biggest cheerleaders when we're in the clinical area while we're learning. They really want to see us do well and they're always motivating us and pushing us, you know, to give our best. We call it a lot of times, we call us a CBT family because you just get so close to each other. Like you're with your classmates, you know, through this whole journey and you just really get to know each other. and get to learn from each other. And, and as you get into that clinical environment and you spend so much time with your preceptors, it about pretty much gets the same way as they, you know, they kind of take you under their wing and you just develop these almost little, these little families as you go along and it's just a great experience. I feel like this program goes above and beyond in preparing me for my future with this career because I know exactly what I'm doing in the classroom. I've learned a lot in the classroom, but there's only so much that a classroom can teach you and hands-on really helps. And so that's one of the things that I really like about this program that I would recommend to future students is it's so, especially if you're a hands-on learner, this program is definitely for you. Being in our program, when you graduate, you're gonna be job ready. You're gonna have the scanning skills and the clinical knowledge that you need to go into your first job and be good at it. When you graduate and you go out in the workforce, you can work, go to work right away or you have the opportunity to easily further your education with a master's or go to PA school or med school. So.